So here we are, fall is finally here, the cold is setting in, and it's the perfect time of year to go hunting for hot springs. Idaho is one of the most volcanic states in the Union with over 60 hot springs to choose from. Today, I'm gonna give you eight of my favorites. I'm gonna try to run through them pretty quickly. If you see one you like and you'd like more information on it, I have full length videos for each one of these hot springs listed in the description below that you can check out to help you plan your trip a little bit more thoroughly. The first four hot springs I'm gonna take you to are undeveloped hot springs that you might have to hike to, that you gotta find, that are just a little bit more undeveloped, but hey, they're gonna be free. And then the next four hot springs I'll show you are the developed hot springs, things that are gonna cost you money, uh, but that come with way more amenities. So let's get started. Here are eight Idaho hot springs for you to visit this fall or winter. Number one on our list is Goldbug Hot Springs, located just south of Salmon, Idaho, which is located in the eastern part of the state. It is near mile marker 282 on Highway 93. To get to these hot springs, you're gonna have to hike two miles from the parking area, and you're gonna climb 1,350 feet of elevation. There's camping along the trail, there's camping at the trailhead, there's camping all around the highway. Just remember to camp at least 500 feet away from Goldbug Hot Springs. Two on our list is probably the most popular hot springs in Idaho. It is Kirkham Hot Springs, located on the South Fork of the Payette River along Highway 21. There is no camping at this hot springs, but it makes for a great day trip, especially if you're on your way to Stanley, Idaho. And the real unique part of this hot springs is you are sitting on the Payette River. The water for this hot springs is coming from above you, so it's basically like a hot spring shower. And if you ever get a little bit too hot, and you wanna take a cold plunge, the river is just right next to you. Number three on the list is Loftus Hot Springs, about two hours east of Boise, past Lucky Peak, near the town of Atlanta. This hot spring is also located next to a river, the middle fork of the Boise River. There is plenty of camping in the area. There are two poles at Loftus, and again, water coming from above you, so you can sit under a little water feature and stare at the Boise River for hours on end. Number four, we have Trail Creek Hot Springs located outside Cascade, Idaho. Trail Creek gets its name from being, you guessed it, next to a creek. So it's not the river, but it, there is some nice running water around you. And this one is pretty well maintained. There's also a spigot there so you can control water flow and temperature. It is right next to Warm Springs Road, but you can easily drive right past it since it sits down in a little ravine. There's no signs to it. Just remember if you're going in the winter to bring some spikes for that very steep but very short hike down to the hot springs. Getting into the developed hot springs, we're gonna start with the springs in Idaho City, about 45 minutes north of Boise. The Springs really has it all. It's really a luxury stay. If you're looking for more pampering, you can get a massage at the Springs. There's a sauna, there's private pools, there's food and beverage service that will bring you food and drinks while you sit in the hot springs. And if you're looking to stay the night, they do have a hotel attached to the property called the Inn at the Pines. Just remember, for this hot springs, you're gonna need a reservation before you go. The next hot springs is one you have probably seen on Instagram. It is Mountain Village Hot Springs, located in Stanley, Idaho, looking out over the beautiful Sawtooth Mountains. This hot springs is actually part of a hotel in Stanley, Mountain Village Resort. And to get into this hot springs, you're gonna actually have to stay in the resort. And if you stay in the resort, you can just book a time and then you get this nice enclosed barn hot springs experience under the sawtooth in stanley at no additional cost number seven is trinity hot springs trinity hot springs located near featherville in the town of paradise and this hot springs truly is a paradise much like the springs trinity has massages a yoga room places for you to stay the difference between Trinity and the Springs is just that one is in a very, very small Idaho town and one 
is closer to Boise. That's gonna give you a different experience, a different vibe, just a different kind of culture around to it, if that's the right word for it. For example, at Trinity, there's a kitchen. And if you bring food, you're welcome to use the kitchen. Just a free for all in the kitchen. Whereas if you go to the Springs, you're gonna be able to order food. It's just that different kind of vibe. Both are somewhat luxury, but Trinity Hot Springs is definitely a little bit more bohemian, which for someone like me, I love that about it. It's also the deepest known source of water in the world. Trinity's Hot Springs is fed from an aquifer 2.2 miles under the ground, and it's said to possess substantial healing and natural benefits for you. They also have plenty of RV space and RV parking at Trinity, so if you're an RVer, I definitely recommend checking out Trinity Hot Springs. And finally, we're gonna wrap it up here with an old Idaho classic, Bergdorf Hot Springs in McCall, Idaho. Now, if you're watching this in the fall or the summertime, you can drive to Bergdorf Hot Springs, but in the wintertime, the road back there closes and is only open to snowmobilers. And if you're looking to do this right, that is definitely how I recommend doing it. Taking the snowmobile trip from McCall to Bergdorf and staying the night in one of their rustic cabins. Those rustic cabins are rustic, by the way. I'm talking heated with fire, no electricity, but I love how rustic Bergdorf is. Really, that is what Idaho is all about. Taking a little bit of rustic with a little bit of modern luxuries and combining them into an adventure that still feels like an adventure, but you're still able to relax. And that's exactly what Bergdorf does. So there you go, there's eight Idaho hot springs for you to check out. Don't forget, links to full videos where you can learn more about each hot spring are down below or in this playlist up here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.